Good morning, friends. Let's get started. Today is mm, Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Yesterday was s Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday, and tomorrow will be t Tuesday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, so our pattern is bumblebee, ladybug, ladybug. Let's try it. Bumblebee, ladybug, ladybug. Bumblebee, ladybug, ladybug. Bumblebee, ladybug, ladybug. Bumblebee, ladybug, ladybug. What's gonna be under here? Bumblebee. Awesome job. And our month starts with mm, May. It is May. Stand up. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you back down. Okay, look at our weather wheel. What's the weather like today, like today, like today? What's the weather like today on this Monday? So today is actually supposed to be rainy. It's supposed to rain today. Let's sing our rainy song. We haven't done rainy yet. Rainy, 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 it is rainy in the sky. R-A-I-N-Y, rainy, it is rainy in the sky. <clears throat> and because it's going to be rainy, it's not going to be warm outside. It's actually going to be pretty cool today. All right, now... Before I move some friends, we actually have some friends that were at home in April, but in May, they're going to be back at school. So we won't have to sing for quite as many friends when we put them into the safekeeper trunk. So our friends that are still going to be at home are Benson, Layla, and Abby. Hello, Benson. Hello, Layla. Hello, Abby. We're happy that you're safe. And Kena is still going to be at home. And Aurora is still going to be at home. And Rhett is going to still be at home. Hello, Kena. Hello, Aurora. Hello, Rhett. We're happy that you're safe. And let's see, I think, oh, Kinley and Ada will still be at home. Hello, Kinley. Hello, Ada. Hello, Ada. We're happy that you're safe. And our friends that will be at school are Rowan, Everett, Avery, River, Zoe, Jocelyn, Zane, Gabe, Jake, Adelaide, and McKenna. We wish you well. We hope that everybody coming back to school is going to have a great time coming back. I know I missed you dearly, and I know your friends missed you, and we will continue to miss our friends that are still at home. Today, we are going to read a social story 
about accepting and valuing each person because everybody in the whole world is really different. They look different, they have different hair, they have different clothes, they might have different parents, but deep down we are all the same. It doesn't matter what clothes you wear, what color your eyes are, what does your skin look like, or your hair, or where you live. Because at the end of the day, we always have to accept and value everyone. Okay, ready? Accept and value each person. Each person in this world is different from everyone else. I'm the only one that's just like me. There are many ways to tell us apart on the outside. We each have our own size and shape and color that is just right. But on the inside, I'm a lot like other people. I want people to like me just the way I am. I want to know that I'm important to someone. Everyone wants to feel accepted. I can like people who are who for who they are and treat them kindly. It's always important to treat everyone kindly and with respect. I can include another person. There's room in my heart for someone new. I like to make friends. I can listen and talk to find ways that we are alike. I have lots of friends. Each one is interesting in a different way. I can value the way each person looks, thinks, and feels. We're each good at different things. Sometimes I can help somebody. At other times, someone can help me. We all like different things. We think, believe, and do different things too. We have many differences in our family. We may speak, eat, or dress different and in different ways. I can appreciate people just the way they are. I may not like everything a person does, but I can be patient with others when something is bothering me. So even if you're not sure and you don't really like something that someone did, it's always important to be patient with them. So it looks right here. <gasps> he bumped into her and is saying, oops. So instead of getting really angry and being upset with this boy, she is patient and understanding that it was probably an accident. When big problems happen, I can listen as we talk about our differences. I can try to understand how someone feels. I can forgive when I feel hurt. So on this page, she is upset. Her arms are crossed. Her bottom, bottom lip is out. She's crying. And this friend is pointing and trying to explain something to her. So once she explained to her, she said, I understand now. It's okay. It's always important to talk to each other when you are not feeling okay about something. I can respect and learn from each person I meet. There's something I can like about anyone. We're each an important part of a group. We can do more together than alone. 
We can accept and value each other. We're learning to get along. So sometimes it's hard to be around so many people that are different than you, but everybody's differences it is what makes it fun to find new things in new people that you like. And look, they worked together to make this big picture. Some people taped leaves on, some people drew on the big sheet of paper. Everybody decided to do something different, but all together, look at how cool that is. Okay, friends, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.